Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. In the adventure just joining us, back in part one, we met Eivor, whose dad Varen was the clan chieftain for Eivor's clan. Unfortunately, though, he sacrificed his life to a rival chieftain named, I think it's Kyotve, it might be Kyote. I can't remember how it's pronounced. I'm sure I'm, I'm going to butcher it no matter what. So let's, just for simplicity's sake, call him Sven. Anyway, Sven's clan attacks Eivor's, and his father says, Hey man, if I give my life, will you spare my people? Sven says, you got it bro, kills him, and then plot twist, his men murder everyone anyways, including Eivor's mom. Eivor thankfully gets away with the help of Sigurd, who's the son of King Steerborn. He's kind of like the local king that Eivor's clan has sworn fealty to. Fast forward 17 years into the future, Sven has captured Eivor and his longboat crew while they're out raiding, but Eivor escapes, frees his crew, and they sail back to Forsland, which is King Steerborn's crib, where he's hanging out now as the adopted son of King Steerborn and the half-brother of Sigurd. Eivor ends up speaking with a local wise woman, and she says, hey, you're going to betray your brother Sigurd in the future here. Get used to it, bro. It's going to happen. Eivor says, nope, that's not going to happen, and storms out. And that's kind of where we left things at the end of part one. So now that you're all caught up, let's get into part two. Let's smash this thing. Okay, so let's head back. Uh, tick the quest. Let's head back and talk to King Steerburn. Find out what he's got to say. They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to you. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child Baron. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts, Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Mm. 
Well, I'm still getting the sound bug in this game. So I've done some reading on this and apparently a good restall will fix that issue for most people. So after this part, I'm going to do a complete reinstall of the game. So I apologize for the sound bugging out. I mean, it's not ideal. I'm kind of kind of pissed to be honest with you, but not really much I can do because you can't go back and replay chapters in this. So I'm kind of tied to the story as we're going here. So Bring that in mind, let's just keep going with this part and... Ah, oh, there it is again. Perfect. Whatever. Nothing we can do about it for now. Let's just smash through this. Hey, careful with that one. Hey, bud! See good? Ah, <laughs> oh, look at you, blood-soaked drinker. Oh, have you been worried without me? Oh, and you, salt-cured Vikinger. I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's just the start. Randvi, my dear wife, your husband returns. Bet you she's super psyched about that. Hasn't seen the guy in two years. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation, and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kjotve's men. They must have cut the tale short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kjotve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kurt with the crew will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My friend, welcome home. Uh, Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and sad, we will talk of Kyotve and his clan, and how we may end their terror. Once and for all. Stalked us too long. Shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends. Yes, of course, when the time is right. <laughs> Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River. Raiding as we went. Shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard. We saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We well, I guess we just gotta sit here and listen to Sigurd's slam poetry sand, session. Warriors of Who's this guy? And beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned. Like the whole bench and he has to sit right next to me. He's like that guy at the movie theater that you sit down and then he sits right next to you even though you're the only one in the theater. And he's just eyeballing me. Super weird. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts a new skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. Landry. Eivor, have you paid a visit to Volka? I did. And? It is not something I can speak on or wish to. I understand. Your bed will be warm tonight with your husband returned. That must be a good feeling. It is a different feeling. Warmer, but with less space to stretch my arms and legs. 
Are you not happy to see your husband returned? Of course. But it has been so long he seems a stranger to me. Three winters we are married, and he has been away for two. Can you not rekindle the flame that once burned hot? <laughs> when he crawls into bed to warm me, as you say, it will be with farts and honeyed breath. Ah, we should all be so lucky. <laughs> Well, she sounds super psyched that he's back. Can't say Secret I blame her, though. The reputation of this clan to new heights, Lord. We could not have asked for a more joyous return. Oh, but we could have. Had Sigurd spent his last two winters here, in Fornberg, defending our lands, we might have been rid of Kjotve by now. You always said we needed more warriors to fight Kjotve. And for warriors, we need wealth, which Sigurd has brought us. The wealth he brings will not buy us an army. It only buys us time before our end. You talk like a man with one foot in Helheim. Have you no plan of your own to rid this land of our enemy? Or will it fall to Sigurd and me? I do, but it will fall to you and Sigurd to accept it. And I must have your word that you will. If you so order it, my king, it will be done. You have my axe until the end. Hmm. We shall see. The king sounds like he's a little crusty there, but it, I guess he has a plan in motion. We'll see how it goes. I don't have a lot of faith, though. <clears throat> Hytham, is it? Yes, and you are Eivor. I am. I hope this ruckus does not overwhelm you. We tend to drink and talk at equal speed. Not at all. The wood smoke from your fire pit does sting the eyes, but the warmth is welcome. Of course. It must be rather warm where you live. Where I live changes from week to week, but always I am with my mentor, Basim. Your mentor? For what cause? A noble one. A cause as true as the world is old. But let us leave it at that for now. I understand. But if you hope to stay tight-lipped for the rest of the night, keep clear of Tekla's mead. <laughs> ah, thank you for the warning. It will not be a problem. I'm liking how they tied in the assassins, how he met them while raiding and brought them back. It's pretty cool. You are Basim. You have a good memory. And you have no meat. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm. A celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basim. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago to rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That sounds right. I will not bore you with the details of our meeting. But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, Basim. Yeah, like I was just saying, though, I do like how he's met the assassins in Constantinople and then naturally brought them back. They traveled with him. It's kind of a cool way of introducing them. You have snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. To my night in Fornberg in over two winters. It must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you in these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringul. Now drink. <laughs> oh, you would put Thor to shame. Forgive me. On your first day back, I should have let you win. <laughs> Gods, you should have let me start. It's good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regained the tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. Come. 
This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan, not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. A weapon for the finest ah, the old I hidden have. blade. It's kind of a cool way of presenting it. Normally you have to earn it in other Assassin's Creed games. Yeah, Hytham looks pissed. Let's go with that. Hytham is not amused, it seems. Am I not worthy of this gift? It is not about worth, Eivor. It is a matter of devotion to our creed and... And training. Please. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred Do tool. Not make a fetish out of cold metal. It'd be awesome if he just backhanded him as like body. men are talking. Wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this. And I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I was just referring to them missing their ring fingers. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. Yeah, I really like how they presented the Hidden Blade in this. In other Assassin's Creed games, you either find it, or it's kind of, you learn how to build it, or something. This is just a good way of doing it. Indeed. But among the tenets of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more, but not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here. Let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Alright, let's assassinate some shit. Is this the one he wants me to... Oh no, over there. Excellent! I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. A decent attempt. I don't remember that from other games. Overwhelming down, strength and you can't assassinate them. Pretty sure, like, keep in mind I didn't play Odyssey, but I think in all the other ones, as long as you got them from behind, you can pretty much assassinate anything. That's it. I do love the alleged assassination, though. That's always super fun. Launching guys to their death. Leap down upon that target from above. And that's always satisfying, too, coming down from above. It always just... I just love it. It's perfect. Never gets old. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. Exactly. Just like that. Mentor, does Eivor intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Why off on the plane? Surely we have more. Hytham. Hush. That's it. Sounds like Buddy's apprentice needs to learn to uh, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> Sounds like he talks a little too much for Come. being a secret society, right? Eivor, let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous, and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. And they have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing, as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world. All of which I will share with you, when the time is right. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. 
Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Ivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you hear me, Wolfkist. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. So much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrtve. ...and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there... ...we build a kingdom... ...for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest... ...and return here at first light. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No! This is wrong! That cannot be right! Ah! Odin fought against his fate! It can be done! Ah! You will betray Sigurd. Shit. Where's that guy going? Kjotvis warriors. It's helpful of them to wear completely different armor and have a different shield because you can know right away, like, that's not one of our guys. Very helpful. They're not doing a good job infiltrating. But he did do a good job dying, though. I should find the others. Alright, find and kill all of Kyotve's war or spies. Uh, how are we going to do this? Oop, skills, beauty. Let's. No, well, melee is definitely important, and that opens up a new tree. Interesting. Okay, so... Stealth... Way of the wolf for the armor, right? Ability damage. Yeah, I'll take that, I guess. Okay, let's throw up the Raven UAV, and... Okay, we're going ahead over there. see anything else. That's where I am. Okay, blacksmith, and I don't know what that is, but... So, okay, we're heading over there. I don't see anywhere else we're supposed to go. Okay, just drop that marker. Yeah, let's go have a look, actually, first, before we just run over there. I don't know how many guys we're going to run into. I don't see anybody. Oh, that's, there's a guy right there. And a camp and a fire. That's stupid of them. Let's just build a raging bonfire right next to the enemy settlement. Okay, well, let's get up there and take care of these guys. Uh, where am I going here? I am all screwed up. Why am I not seeing my marker? Okay, the dock. Yeah, where are we going here? Show me. Oh, I didn't put a marker. I suck. There we go. That makes it a lot easier if you actually put the marker down. Okay, get up above these guys here and have a look into the camp. I only saw one. There's got to be more than one because it says spies, plural. Oh, there's two, at least. One there. Just the three of us. Yeah, the other. We should return to not fall Just the three of us, that's convenient. We can, I already killed one. We can bring Kjotve news of the longships. Or we can wake him with Sigurd Stirbjörnsson's head. Which is better? All right. When Jot returns, we weigh our next move. Perfect. Let's assassinate this guy. 
Why won't it let me... Oh, perfect. Excellent. That was super easy. Let's see if they got anything good over here. Ships, warrior supplies. I like how it's like entitled instructions. Like, why can't he just tell them like, hey guys, go over there, tell me how many ships, warriors, whatever gear they have, and then come on back. I guess I gotta write it down. You're hiring goons and you're not probably the smartest guys on the planet, but you would think, don't bring the instructions with you and leave them next to the tent where you're hanging out. It just, ah, uh, video games. You're so silly sometimes. I just, <laughs> just run right through someone's house while he's in there sleeping with his wife. That's amazing. No concept of personal space, Eivor. Oh, that threw me off for a second there. The dummy, I thought it was a, a bad guy right in town. We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. Gods, Eivor, what happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kjotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. He came from Northfall, that village under Kyotre's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kyotre learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you, but this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. away, far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again. I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurtve's end. Afraid I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nochtval from Kurtve. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid. For they will be deaf to his cries. And soon the Raven Clan will feast on his death. You know these isles best, Wolfkist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, Eivor. I missed having you at my side. How I wish I could have taken you along on my travels. Stierbjorn did not trust fate, but both our lives. He had no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable. Sing, my ravens. Okay, well, it looks like we're gonna go and smash when I have Kjotve's garrisons here. And in fact, you can hear the horns in the distance. I'm looking forward to this. The raids are fun. Let's see how this goes. Bring the sail in. I don't know if I need to actually bring the sail down. It just kind of seems ready. like the thing to do so I don't plow right into the beach. Surprised I didn't kill that guy. Went two for two, and I missed that guy. Oh, I suck. There we go. I am not hitting anything. 
Destroy the wagons. What? Wagons? Okay, I'll kill this guy and then figure it out. Okay, wagons. I'm gonna shut an arrow at me. Not seeing wagons. Oh, is that a wagon? Okay, I'm gonna kill these guys first, and I think I'll go back and deal with that wagon after. The guys shooting arrows at me are a bit of a problem. These guys are coming out of everywhere, man. This is a way bigger raid than the last one I did. Whoa, something exploded. I'm assuming that was one of the wagons. And I'm on fire. That's not good. How do I put myself out? There is no stop, drop, and roll button here. Oh, I'm so gonna die. I wonder if there's a way to actually put out yourself when you're on fire, because that is no fun. Yeah, there's a bunch of arrows coming from up here, so let's clear out these dudes. If I was an archer, I'd be up here. Uh, there's none but arrows. Those are important. Because I'm hemorrhaging arrows because I'm shooting like crap today. Okay, get down. There we go. Gotta try and figure out where I'm going here. I'm a little bit screwed up because it's just a dude. A dude killing fest. I spoke too soon. Okay, that guy's dead. Awesome. Okay, got my mojo back with shooting. How did that guy not die? I spoke too soon there. Okay, light this bad boy in. Oh, and I'm on fire again. That's not good. Okay, I can't help but think I'm doing the whole destroy the wagons thing really ass backwards here. I'm lighting myself on fire every time I do it, and I have no rations. I gotta get a little bit smarter there. Oh, there's a dude in there. Yeah, he needs to die. Perfect. I realize I'm playing like crap right now and it's probably painful to watch. How do I put this fucking torch down? Because I have a feeling I'm going to light on fire again. I want to get rid of this thing. of some kind here, because my health is turbo low. There doesn't seem to be any anywhere, though, which is less than ideal. That's a... Okay. Apparently that's me throwing my torch at nothing. That was stupid, but at least I got rid of it. Yeah, I'm really surprised there's no food. Okay, awesome. That's the last wagon. That took way too long. That was painful, even for me playing this. We're done Ships here. are coming! Oh no, is this more dudes I'm gonna have to annihilate? Because I am super low on health. Reach Sigurd. Okay, I gotta go find my brother here and... Raleigh have to wail on more dudes with an axe. There's gotta be food in here. How how is there none anywhere? There's more arrows than I know what to do with, but I can't find food anywhere. I'm surprised jumping from that height didn't actually hurt me <laughs> with my 
preciously low health. Hail Raventlan! You reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harald. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see. And I honor it, for I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven clan can take Kjotve's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The wandering king will tip our fortunes. Why risk your men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Ketwe's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There will be no peace while Ketwe lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Kjotve broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kjotve and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florley, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kjotve's head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjotve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor! Harald is just troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He is either a young fool, or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. All right, well, that was a pleasant surprise. I thought for sure that was wave two of guys that were coming to kill us, but turned out to be prospective allies. Didn't see that one coming, but bonus, we'll take it. So I think at this point, I'm going to probably shut down and reinstall this game because the sound bugs are driving me absolutely banana sandwich here. Um, hopefully that fixes it. And we'll see. So yeah, I'm going to probably do that right now and we'll see how that sorts things out here in fact you know what maybe you know i'm gonna do these skills first this is gonna happen uh stun don't care way of the wolf light attack damage that stealth uh, light attack damage definitely should probably do some stealth considering now i'll do evasion that seems more Ooh, backstab that looks yeah, okay, I need to get me that. That looks awesome. Uh, but like I said, yeah, I'm gonna... Shut down, reinstall this bad boy, and see if that makes any difference whatsoever. If it doesn't, I'm probably just gonna throw this game in the trash, um, throw my computer off the roof, and delete my YouTube channel. But, I guess we'll find out. Alright, so, good news. I... Completely wiped the game from my system, reinstalled it, and I've been tooling around in this game for quite a while now, after the reinstall. No sound issues. Seems to have worked. 
And while I was tooling around, I found this location. This is Eivor's childhood home. So I figured I'd tack it onto the end of the video here and we'll explore it together and, you know, see what it looks like 17 years after his family got wiped out. Dark deeds have stained these blood-drenched grounds. Yeah, no kidding. Looks like someone fired the gardener. This place has not been kept up in a long time. It makes sense if the whole clan's been wiped out except for Eivor, really. This is where father and mother left this world. I would have died with them in dishonor if not for Sigurd. That's kind of true. Both your parents did kind of go out like punks. I mean, obviously his dad more so of a punk, but mom really, at the end, just wanted to rush to his body, didn't really do the Viking thing and start swinging for the fences. I know I'm coming off kind of like a dick right now, but just my opinion on it. Mother, if I had followed your orders, would you have lived? Would you and father have triumphed? Well, while we're running around here, I think this is a good time to address my plan for this playthrough. I realize with Assassin's Creed games, you can get down a rabbit hole of exploration that can last for hours and there's really no tangible story. And I don't really think that that is conducive to a good viewing environment to just watch me climb viewpoints and wail on dudes with an ax with no real purpose to it. So I think what I'm gonna do is the exploration's probably not going to be showcased unless it's really has some wow factor to it. I'm just going to really showcase the actual story. Um, that's what I'm thinking right now. I mean, that could be a totally crap idea. And if you think it is, please let me know in the comments. But that's, I think that's probably going to be the best for everybody involved. Just to watch the highlight reel, basically, of the story unfold. Maybe some cool stuff that happens, but not get, get basically drug into the, I guess, the minutia of me climbing viewpoints and sailing from one location to another because that just seems tedious and boring even for me where I'm standing right let alone some person sitting there at two o'clock in the morning watching my YouTube channel because they have absolutely nothing better to do so yeah let me know what you I think loved climbing up that's here. my plan made me feel as high as a raven Kind of convenient all these longhouses have the exact same entrance to come in through the roof. Seems like a security flaw to me, but hey, what do I know? I didn't build longhouses. Uh, that feels like that drop is going to break both my legs. Oh, as I impale myself on the throne. That's hilarious. Speaking of throne, maybe I should just pop a squad on this bad boy if I can get off of it. Yeah, daddy's home. Okay, enough of that. Let's keep exploring this place. Mother used to sing me to sleep by this hearth. Her voice made me feel safe. I've not felt safe since then. Not really. I still remember the smell of the feast. The anticipation of a dinner I never got to eat. Well, Eivor, you're starting to hit me right in the feels, bud. This room, my old bed, they felt much larger when I was young. A lifetime ago, it seems. How am I going to get out of this place? Doors are all barred. Do I have to climb out? Yes, I'm probably going to have to climb out of this beast. Is that a ladder? Yes, it is. Okay, well, that's conveniently placed. Yeah, that looks super climbable. Perfect. How am 
I gonna... Oh, that works out well. Okay, I didn't think that was gonna be that easy. I thought it was gonna be more of a pain. Okay, well... I saw a whole bunch of gold. Why can't you get out of here? Get me out of here. There we go. I saw a whole bunch of gold or wealth pings when I did my Odin site, so I'm gonna go try and find that stuff as I try not to uh, thunder to my death off this roof. Oh no. Okay, well. Perfect. Stuck the landing on that one. Where was that gold? Right there. There's a secret entrance or something. Where is that, right? 48 meters this way. Okay, well that was super easy to find. When father first showed me this passage, I was so excited. I won every game of hide and fetch after that. What is this? Ah, it's like a 9th century vault door. Love it. That one dude can open at any time. Real secure. Axelva. Gems. Precious things. How did Kyotve's dogs miss this? Well, it seems like Kyotve's crew, his clan, whatever the hell they are, they suck at the pillaging part. I mean, they did the raping part pretty good. Yeah, but the pillaging part needs some work. All right, let's just seal up the old vault here. And I think that's gonna be it for this video. Um, super glad that I fixed the sound issues. I'm just hoping that they don't rear their heads again and I rage out. But yeah, so I think that's gonna be the end of this video. Thanks for joining along. Next video, part three, we're going to go and speak to Sigurd and find out what's next for taking down Kyotve. But as always, thanks for tuning in. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Comment down below, especially about what you want to see for how I'm going to present this playthrough. Be sure to click subscribe and ring that bell so you know when the next video comes out right away. With that all said though, thanks for stopping by and I'll chat with you guys again soon.